Arthur Smith does such a good job of using motions and shifts. I've ex kind of explained how he uses it for a couple different reasons. One is for info. Info tells you, okay, is it man? Is it zone with the emotion or shift? And if a guy goes with them, you know it's man. But sometimes you use it for impact. And impact tells me, okay, in the run game, I want to make sure I'm able to get angles for blocks and get guys to get a hat on a hat and make sure we're able to block certain guys that we need to in the run game. Here's a perfect play where Arthur Smith uses motion for impact. And here's again, your tight end is outside. Another formation where you have two tight ends in the ball game. You're using what we call 12 personnel, one back, two tight ends. So he's going to come in motion. Right now, you already know it's man zone because this is a safety. The safety is outside playing man on this tight end. And when he comes out and he comes down in motion here, he's going to follow. Him. But the one thing that Arthur Smith does really well, he puts conflict on the guy who they want to make the play. So right now, he has outside leverage. He's the guy, if you run this outside zone, he will have to come up and feel. But because of this motion, when you bring him inside, now the safety is inside the box. Now the guy that becomes the player in conflict is the corner. Sometimes the corners don't really want to tackle. Some guys do, some guys don't. But in this particular play, you're going to run this outside zone here. Now you see you got the, the matchup you want. Here's the safety in the box. Now here's the corner that I talked about here that's going to be using the outside leverage to force it. But because you run so good of this outside zone, they're going to flow so hard and get over the top. It creates lanes, and you also can get the angles you want to get these particular blocks because of this motion. So as the play gets started, you can see here's the – now here's the contain guy. You can see it here. He's a contain guy. But watch this safety. He's so concerned with making sure he gets outside so that this stretch zone does not get outside. He overruns it, and it creates a huge cutback lane for a nice gain you know, on this first down run here. He overflows, it gets to the outside, and now you get a huge zing. Let me show you what it looks like from the backside. Now, from the backside, we already had the motion. Tight ends come down. Here's the safety in the box now. He has him in man coverage, but when he starts to go outside, you're going to see him try to overflow so hard that it creates a nice crease to run through right here for Derrick Henry, and it's also created up here. And then when I talk about the angles, because you motion this guy down, now you can have angles to seal block here. You got this backside guard coming up, and he's going to seal block here. And you're going to see a huge run lane to run through here in this stretch zone, and it creates it. The Falcons have these athletic linemen already who can get out, who can run, who can pursue, who can reach these defensive linemen. And now you have the angles you want, and look at that crease there. Nice first down run, and you pick up almost 13 yards marrying the motion now that we thought was for info, was for impact to create the angles you wanted to block up front. When Arthur Smith takes the job for the Atlanta Falcons, he understands he has some really elite receivers. How do you get these elite receivers an opportunity to have free access and throw the football down the field? Well, you can use it by motion, you can do it by alignment, but also you can do it by simply just using motion to align guys and get them in the right position. On this play again, here we go. We're using motion again. This motion brings this safety across the field, takes him out of the, the play. Here's your receiver here who can be – use this Calvin Ridley on that strong side. He has a press corner up here, but also something to pay attention to. On the back side, because you run the football so well, because you run this stretch zone, because you run split zone, you run inside zone, defenses now – look at this box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys are already in the box. And then this eighth guy is going to be taken away by this motion that comes across. So now you have created a one-on-one -on -one here. And this is like second and five here. So you can do anything you want on this particular down. And now this is the route you want. You're going to run him on an end cut here. But the thing to notice is when you bring him in motion, he was the outside player. So he had everything that came outside. But now when you bring him in motion, it takes him out of the play. Now he is forced to play outside leverage. This is creating an easy throw for your quarterback and an easy way to get out of the route for your receiver here. Play gets started. You can see him come across. And now you lose contain there. And now look at this. He has outside leverage on this particular receiver. Nobody in the middle of the field because I mentioned you had so many guys in the box right here. Now inside cut. Now look at all the room you throw. And the other part is, I talked about this guy down here who could be Julio Jones. 
You get one-on-one. This is always something you see in Arthur Smith's offense. You have an alert to throw the goal route. You have an alert to throw it to your big-time receiver if you like it. So if this Julio Jones and you like this matchup, you can throw it or you can fit him down the sideline here and you got a chance to throw it. But they're working his top receiver here. But now look at the void that's left because so many guys are up in the box. So many guys are playing man cover. Safety's back in the middle of the field. You throw a 15-yard play to Calvin Ridley and look at the game. Creating the space by formation and by alignment is something Arthur Smith does really well and finds a way to get his key playmakers the football in space.